So here we have the track rod or tie rod and you can see that the boot has unfortunately split open so I have to replace this. So I have a replacement boot to go over it so the first job is to replace it to separate it from the hub. So that's the nut now release so you can wind it all the way out. You see there's a nylon uh, lock on it so what we do is we put it back in to stop it from jumping up. You have to remove the nut entirely, as in like three quarters of the way down, just once it's beyond the nylon. Um, so when you put it back in, like that, just barely have it on. And we're gonna wallop it here with a hammer, and this will make all of this jump up. Because it's tapered, it wants to naturally come up, whereas that wasn't, it was just an ordinary uh, shaft, it wouldn't come up. So this is taper, or the shaft inside it is tapered. And because you want to do all the nut because once you release this up here, if you haven't undone it beyond the nylon, when you turn it, the whole thing, including the ball and everything inside here, will all turn together. So that's why you have to undo the nut and make sure it's very loose. We take our hammer, and we check it. That's it there. It's after jumping up. Okay, so that's now the track rod removed. So that's up and down. Just put it in like that just for a moment. So this shaft here and the nut, they set your tracking. So I've counted it's 10 uh, ridges across and it's 15 millimeters is my measurement. Everyone's car would be slightly different. So the idea is I've marked the top with just a scrub mark. Uh, I've measured across here and the ridges so when I undo this nut I'm going to lose that tracking so I don't want to retract my car so what I'm going to do is wind now that I know that measurement here I can wind all of this out pull out my boot the old damaged boot put the new boot in and when I put it all back together again I know roughly how much to put in I probably will have to set the tracking again but by knowing the total distance here and trying it as close as I can, it'll only barely be out. So it's not a huge job to reset the tracking afterwards. That's the nut now removed or loosened. We don't want to go back too far, but that's it there. Now the this whole shaft is still inside here as well. It's tread into this, so now it's hopefully lift this up and give it a few twists and hopefully it will all come up. So back when I was doing the tracking, probably about last summer or the year before, um, I obviously didn't spot the boot had actually ripped, but I had put copper grease, so that's a little bit of copper grease there, and I can't remember, I think there's a little bit of copper grease in here, so it should make life a lot easier. Copper grease is amazing, spray it onto everything. Uh, although it won't help you put it reassemble, and you go to disassemble it next time or replace uh, parts that wear out naturally like the boot here it makes life so much more easier so that's my top tip no oh, it's actually surprisingly loose there you can see the yellow which is the copper grease so it's obviously doing its thing and not letting anything seize up too much if you use wd-40 it never lets anything kind of bond it keeps everything loose so the copper grease lets everything get tight so when you tighten up your nut it's never going to wind back out by itself it, it should stay tight but then when you break it with the, the spanner to release the, the actual pressure and you go to wind it out it does actually wind out nice and easy that's why the copper grease is better than the WD-40 the WD-40 is better for if you have something that's stuck use WD-40 on it and then it'll release so this is the old boot after being removed, so you can see the portion of the big large cut that's in it. it. Just, I think they just break up over time. So this is my replacement boot, which I've had on the shelf for I don't know how long. But it's brand new, but it's just dusty and old looking, but it is perfect. There's no cuts or anything in it. And OEM, original ones, do have this little dot just here. And you can see that this one here also has a little dot. But a spurious one, like this one here, it won't have that little dot. Um, the idea is there's a little bar that goes across the very bottom and this shoves into it. I think all it does is just helps the boot locate. 
So it's just another thing to grip onto. You can see there's a zip tie mark there, but it go and it goes in and out. It's just helping the zip tie not to or the the boot then not to roll like that. And when it's going in and out like a accordion, it uh, just helps grip it onto something else. So the little dot would just be that extra bit of friction just to hold it on. It's nothing worse than having the, the whole thing on. And instead of the accordion part of it opening up like this, that the whole thing is a solid and it's just coming back and forth like that and letting all the dirt and debris in there into your uh, tracker arm. So that's a spurious one I have, but uh, I'm not gonna use it, I'm gonna use uh, the original one that I have, that's perfect. So that's next to install. So they're saying this little dot here, it's that little bar that runs across here, runs all the way across and ends just over there. So you show there's some light into it. And that's the arm or the piston just hanging out just there. But in the, you can't really see it from this angle, but that little bar is just sticking out just underneath that very shiny aluminium uh, end plate. Okay, so it's now all back together. That's the cable tie just tying it all together and uh, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was I think one of the huge advantages is using that copper grease it really does make everything tight but then when you go to loosen it it actually comes apart quite easily and I'm just winding in the, the last of the track rod arm there now and just gonna set up the steering again okay that's it now all complete so I've my uh, tie rod end all wound back in I have 10 treads showing, which is 15 mil. And uh, that's my tracking now set. I have my bottom nut back on. And uh, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.